We made a dog food storage bin that dispenses a pre-measured amount of food and keeps track of how long it was between each feeding. Why the clock? Because the dog lies. The dog food dispenser is large enough to hold an entire bag of dog food. This is the size we buy. It's filled by this access panel up top. You just pour the dog food in and the PVC device inside automatically measures out the specific amount of food the dog requires, in this case a cup and a half for our dog, and an Arduino control clock tracks how long it's been since the last time the dog was fed. Because we have a couple of problems we're trying to solve. One, we like to store things right where they're being used. We've had a lot of success building things like this Dremel station that has all of our Dremel stuff together and this drill station below it. Also, the uh, toilet paper storage that we have in one of our bathrooms where it puts the toilet paper right where you're going to use it. We like storing things where we're going to use it instead of sticking it in the closet and bringing it to where you're going to use it. So this allows us to put the food at the point of use. Also, we have a lot of people in our house and the dog will eat and then we'll go to people who didn't feed her and say, hey, my bowl's empty. And so we have had several instances over the last several years of the dog being fed two, maybe even three times in an evening because she's very good at convincing people she has been fed. So the Arduino solves this problem. It tells us how long it's been since the dog has been fed so we can outsmart the dog. The first step in building this device is to figure out how much the dog eats. So I measure out a cup and a half of food into some scrap PVC. So this is how much our 20 pound dog eats per day. That's her dinner. And now that I know how much room it takes up, I cut off that length of PVC to match that amount of food. I was originally gonna use this as the feeding tube. This is all the food she'll eat in a day, and this was gonna tip and dump it into the feeding bowl. Then I got a better idea that would be easier to implement. So this is now scrap, but it's gonna serve as our template for how much food has to be held. But before the feeding tube can be mounted, I have to build a box to mount it in. We're going for a simple design here, so the front and back are just 18 inch wide and 30 inch tall quarter inch plywood sheet. The left and right sides are just two three and a half inch wide and 30 inch long pine strips. I'm deliberately making this dog feeder very shallow so that it doesn't stick out very far from the wall. There's a reason for this and I'll discuss that later. The feeding mechanism for this device is going to be a spinning horizontal piece of PVC tubing, and that tubing needs to be supported. So here I am cutting three inch holes in two by fours that will form sort of an axle. This will make sense in a second when I assemble it. And now we'll assemble it. The left and right side pieces are glued in place. This forms the box that will hold the food. Then the two by four axle pieces are put in place. This will hold the PVC feeding tube. And finally, slanted pieces are put in place that will direct the dog food down into the feeding tube and out the chute on the bottom. In this shot, the box is sideways, but in practice, the food will be here and will flow down through the feeding tube this way. The top of the feeder will have a hinge door that will open to add food to the bin. The hinge for that door will have to mount somewhere, so this cross piece is where that hinge will go. The cross piece also stiffens the box up here at the top where we don't have a lot of support, so it really has a dual purpose. Then the top piece is added and we have a completed box. With the box completed, it's time to put the feeding tube in. I'm using the same PVC as earlier and those 2x4s are set the same distance apart as the length of that scrap feeding tube we made earlier. I mark the left and right sides of the feeding tube on the PVC and then disassemble so that I can cut out a feeding trough that will transport dog food from the storage bin above to the dog food bowl below. To do this, I just cut half of the PVC out to make kind of a half tube, or a half shell if you prefer. Whatever works for you. A Dremel is used to make the horizontal cuts because I didn't have a saw that would fit, and the Dremel worked out okay. 
Now it's time to put the feeding tube in place. It's just a PVC tube with a crank on one end and two slats to plug the space on the top and bottom of the tube. The feeding station only has one moving part and it works by moving the crank up and down. Thin wooden shims are added to block the space on the front and back of the feeding tube so that food doesn't fall out when it's not being used because that would be embarrassing. But look how simple this is. You just crank and feed the dog. Here it is with the front panel taken off. Up here is the dog food silo. This is where all the dog food is going to be kept. It's painted with gloss white paint because dog food is a little damp sometimes. The solid stuff can be damp. So this is there to keep it from soaking into the wood. The panel that goes on the front is also painted on its back so it can handle some slight moisture. These pieces of wood here direct the food down into the PVC piece, which you see flips up and down with the lever. So it goes down and it fills in here and then when you drop the lever... Pull the lever, crunk. Roll the lever! It rotates and drops only the amount that's inside the PVC pipe down into the chute, into the dog bowl. Here is a switch a, uh, that is depressed by this little ring here. When it comes down, it pushes and it detects that the lever has been pulled down. So to feed the dog, you just do this. That's it. Now this is kind of floppy right now, but when I tested it, when it's under load, when there's actually dog food in here, this isn't quite so floppy. It, it comes down and, and back up and you're good to go. And now that we're talking about switches that detect movement, that means we're talking about the Arduino controller. We don't want the Arduino to get wet with moist dog food being around, so to prevent that, we're building a box on the front of the dog feeder to house the electronics. The Arduino box is covered by a simple aluminum panel that has a hole for an LCD, a couple of LEDs, and a reset button. All of these controls are there to help you, the dog owner, deal with the dog's lies. An Arduino Uno is mounted below the four-line LCD display. This is the brains of the operation. And then two LEDs are soldered with resistors and set up to operate with the Arduino being mounted in the silver faceplate. These will flash on and off when there's an alert underway to draw your attention to the dog feeder. To be completely honest, those red LEDs are there simply because I like blinking lights. Okay, so here's the electronics panel. I've got the, the metal plate taken off so we can kind of see inside. You can see the LCD is lit up right now and the Arduino is down here. When I hooked it up before, I put the Arduino up here and then realized that when the metal plate's in place, I won't be able to get the cords in there easily, so I moved the whole thing down because I didn't plan ahead. But now we fixed it. So here's how it works. The Arduino listens for two things to happen. It listens for this switch to be triggered. This is a little roller switch thing. Um, that, uh, that will detect when the lever is pulled uh, to feed the dog and this will give it an event for it to say, hey, the dog was just fed, reset the clock to zero, put up a snarky message, and start the timer. There's another button here that uh, will be at the bottom of the control panel. So if for whatever reason you need to reset it, for example, if the dog eats somewhere other than from this. So the dog gets leftovers and you don't feed them the regular food. No problem, you hit this button right here and it does a reset event and starts the clock. So you don't have to feed the dog from this every time. It's all controlled from the Arduino. So the Arduino can tell the difference between the feed switch and the reset switch. Now what it does is it starts a clock and it starts counting so that you know how long it's been since the dog's been fed so that if the dog pretends there's been no food, you can look right here and say, nope, you were fed three hours ago, stop your lies. But also, if the dog hasn't been fed for 26 hours, then these red lights start flashing alternately back and forth, and the message here says the dog hasn't been fed today, so feed the dog. You, you missed uh, the feeding time. There, now you know how it all works. Now it's time to button it up and turn our attention to the feeding system for the last couple things we need to do to finish this project. The PVC parts are all put in. It's all friction fit in case I have to disassemble this thing later. Because you never know what might break once you start using something. A small strip of PVC is screwed onto the dog feeding tube. This will depress the switch when the crank is pulled. See how that works? 
Pull the crank, it pushes the switch. That tells the Arduino the dog has been fed. One last thing on the feeding tube. We don't want to feed the dog too much, so I made these little plugs to put in the left and right side of the tube. These plugs will ensure that the correct amount of food goes through this tube and no more. Now we're really done with the inside. So it's time to put the face plate on and screw everything down so the dog food can't escape. Once again, I'm using screws on everything just in case I have to disassemble it later. A French cleat is added to the back so that we can hang it on the wall. And that gray strip is the door that lets us put dog food into the top of the bin. It's hinged. You can see the hinge across the front. And then the Arduino is plugged in and ready to go. All we have to do now is add dog food and, of course, a dog. <laughs> So that's the dog feeder, fully operational, loaded with dog food, ready to go. Now you may be wondering why we put a dog feeder out here in the wood shop. Well, that's because this particular dog feeder is not going to be used regularly at our house. No, this is a prototype for something else. I'm going to be building a much larger sign that goes into the kitchen to replace the sign we already have, and we're going to hide the dog feeder inside that sign. But before I did that, I wanted to build a prototype unit so I could get the feed mechanism working, the Arduino code working, the, the general form factor, the crank, all these things tested so that I could figure out how to fit it in to the other thing we're going to be making. So that'll be a future project uh, to hide the dog food right there in the dining room so nobody even knows it's there. That's the ultimate plan. But for now, this is fully operational and I'm probably going to give this away to somebody after I finish my testing because it's actually pretty cool. So pretty proud of it. It was a fun build. And the dog likes it. She actually followed me out here to the garage today when it's time to eat because she'd seen us use this already. So she actually came out here to get her food. So it works. At least the dog thinks so. And she's a happy dog now. As always, thanks to our patients for helping us build really cool stuff like this. You're helping us move towards some larger projects that we're really excited about. So appreciate your help on this. It was a fun build. It was fun to write all this code and write snarky dog comments into the code. I've never done that before. We're always building cool stuff like this, so if you like what you see, please like, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell so you won't miss an upload. We put stuff up all the time. Go check out our other videos. There's a lot of cool stuff, a lot of Arduino stuff if you're into that sort of thing. But that's all I have for you this time. It's been fun. The dog likes it. I'm happy. Everybody's happy. It's good. See you next time. <music>